Kevin, when you went to the basket in that second quarter with a vengeance with the right hand on the left side, did you feel like you had the explosiveness and 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 how did you feel in general? Uh, yeah, um, I felt good last week doing that same type of move, um, but it's good to do it in real game in a real game setting. Um, but I felt good throughout the whole night. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Yeah, but this is twofold. Obviously, you you know you took the rehab seriously, but were you surprised at a how quickly and seamlessly you got back into this, considering it's been two months since you've had live action? And no. secondly, unless I'm mistaken, this is the first game you played with the fans here. Yes, I mean, what was that like for you? Uh, first question. Um, no, I didn't. I didn't. Um, you know, I, I, I expected to come out here and play the way I played. Uh, I wasn't trying to ease into the game. I just wanted to go out there and dive right into the action. I mean, the game was already fast-paced already, so from uh, from watching it from the bench, I knew exactly how I needed to approach it. So, um, But it was, it was pretty cool coming off the bench, I can't lie. Um, but it was also um, good to play in front of the fans as well. Brian Mahoney with the Associated Press. Kevin, when you did come off the bench, that that last part of the second quarter, just you know, how enjoyable was it to see that kind of basketball and be involved in playing that? I mean, you guys were pretty close to perfect the last few minutes there. Yeah, I mean, um, <clears throat> when we move our bodies and we move the basketball the way we did, and we talk on defense, you know, it's fun out there. Um, you know, you got veteran players that know how to play, and it feels like you know these guys can finish my sentence before you know after I, before I even before I even finish. So these guys know the game inside out. They know me. They know one another um, as teammates and you know, from playing against each other over the years. So it was uh, it's pretty smooth. Malika Andrews with ESPN. Hey Kevin, um, what's your understanding? Steve kind of said it's going to be almost in-game ramp ups now that you've done the in-practice ramp ups. What's your understanding of how it's going to be for you moving forward, starting with maybe tomorrow, Saturday, after that? Um, uh, tomorrow, I mean, practice days is just the same thing I've been doing, but games. Whatever coach throws at me, I got to be prepared for, and I'm sure he's going to try to toss some curveballs at me to see how I handle it, and I'm looking forward to it. And uh, I think a few games of this, and I'll be back to probably normal normal minutes and rotation. Thank you. Alex Schiffer with The Athletic. This was your first time playing with Blake, Nick, and LaMarcus. Just what, what were your really impressions of, of your lineups with those guys? And, and you made it seem like you really kind of have a really good chemistry with those guys. You kind of feel like you're starting in a better place and you know, we're just better from the ground, not from the ground up with them, given, yeah. given how it looked. Yeah, I mean, we always been in communication about, you know, different sets and you know, different actions, you know, when I was on the bench and, and practices and stuff and film room. Um, so I felt like we were learning each other throughout that time and then, I, you know, finally getting out on the floor. Uh, we didn't have to say much, you know, because, like I said, we I feel like we know each other's games and um, we know exactly how to, you know, what to do on each play. And, you know, so guys have been in constant communication no matter if it's a game or off day, and I think that helps. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, Kevin, how's it going? Um, the, the concept of gravity, right? Like a guy like yourself doesn't even need to have a ball, have the ball in his hands for to, to have an impact on a game where a defense will have to adjust and make plays just because you're out there, just because you're a threat. Can, can you kind of feel that when you step on the floor? Can you feel that, you know, that creating other opportunities for your teammates while you're out there? Yeah, um, but I only feel that when I play with force, when I'm, you know, Getting downhill when I'm aggressive with the basketball, when I'm making the right play, uh, I feel like I shift the defense. But if I'm out just out there standing and, and you know not playing physical or not running to my spots, right? You know I feel like I'm just out there. So I just try to make a conscious effort of doing something. You know, being you know imposing my will in some way. Maybe not just scoring, but pushing the tempo, rebounding the basketball, just getting into the paint, little stuff like that. I try to do, um, but I only I only feel like if I'm playing with force. Barbara Barker with Newsday. Uh, yeah, Kevin, um, the way you were just able to come back and pick up um, and, and score the way you, you know, the way you did. A lot of people talk about the big three not being together, but it seems you everybody knows each other's games. Do you think it's just because you know each other, it's going to be pretty easy as people come in and out and to gel and keep together? Yeah, when you got veteran guys that know how to play the game of basketball, and you got a coaching staff that. Uh, most of the guys played, and they know how to explain the game uh, in, in, in simple terms. I, I think, you know, that'll help us um, 
you know, going forward, especially with guys being out. Um, and, and as far as late in the season, we want everybody and need everybody on the court to actually, you know, see how this stuff works. Um, um, so, um, um, But we got a good gauge on who we are as a team, and we want these guys to be especially um, – you know, James, Landry, T, TJ, we want them to be 110% when they get back on, out on the floor. And, uh, but in the meantime, they, you know, everybody's always just talking about the game. Everybody here loves to play. Last question, Nick Friedel with ESPN. 